Okay, when you start uh, looking at objects and uh, classes, you quite often find that one class is um, is uh, just like another class, but it uh, adds a little bit more information and uh, the state is a little bit more elaborate. And uh, that's the situation where the um, one class is said to be a subclass of another. And uh, here's a situation like that. You have a perhaps um, a class called person, which contains the name, address, and date of birth of whoever it is. And um, uh, date of birth, by the way, um, is of type date, and uh, that is uh, a, a thing called date in, in Java as well, which you can use with quite a lot of other types. So it's perfectly all right to have one um, object of one type inside and an object of another type. That's quite common. Um, you have another class called employee, which is uh, just like person. They got name, address, and date of birth. But it has a few more things in it as well, like uh, the salary and uh, and uh, the immediate manager, who whoever this employee is. And uh, this is uh, this is what's called um, um, a subclass. The employee will be a subclass of person. And what that means is, employee has got everything that person's got plus these extra bits here. And of course, you have uh, methods down here which actually describe the behaviour. For person and for and for um, employee as well, and you can continue like this with something say like manager, which extends employee, containing the um, the department that the manager is a manager of, perhaps something like that. In which case you've got a whole string of classes and subclasses. And the important thing about this is that um, is uh, that a, a class can only extend at most. Uh, one other class. That's an important. Uh, that's an important thing, and um, it's not like uh, C++ where you can um, effectively. Uh, um, it's not called extend, but uh, uh, you can uh, subclass. Uh, you can uh, more than one other class. And when that happens, it gets very complicated. Um, uh, a class, however, you can. Be extended by many other classes. You could have another, a different type of class down here, which also extends person. Well, a different sort of behaviour. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, all this leads to effectively is like a tree of classes extending other classes. And um, it turns out that uh, there is a useful uh, concept which uh, which exists in Java, and that is um, that there is an object right at the top of the tree. Now you might think that was person in this case, but it's not because um, where a class doesn't extend any other class, uh, Java considers it to extend a special class which is called object. Uh, it's object with a capital letter, uh, so it's not uh, not to be confused with objects which get created by a class. There is an actual class called object. So uh, that's basically at the root of the uh, tree. Is the like the root of the hierarchy, everything descends from that. So there's one common object, and it's got behaviours which um, which every object can do, and uh, uh, sort of uh, things like that, which we'll come to eventually.